Sequencing drum parts in time can be a little difficult on the iPad, so let's see how we can address some of these issues with quantization. I have an electronic kit loaded up here. Let's bring the tempo way down to about, let's say 85 BPM. It's a good idea to practice a beat before you start recording it. So I'm just gonna hit play and try the beat out. Okay, once you feel comfortable performing it, hit the record button and start playing. Before that, I'm going to disable quantization for now by setting it to a none. Okay, here we go. So clearly this was an unacceptable performance. Let's verify that. Yes, unacceptable. Now let's turn on quantization. The quantization feature can automatically correct the timing of performances. There are three subcategories here. Choosing the right quantization value is critical in getting accurate results. The general rule is to choose the smallest note value that is in your performance. I played 16 notes on the hi-hat, so I should select the 16 notes. Let's hear that. So as you can hear, the performance is a lot better and my velocity changes are still there, so only the timing has been corrected. Now what would happen if I chose the wrong quantization value? Let's choose 8th note this time. And I'm going to re-record the thing. So let's hear that quantize to 8th notes. As you can see, GarageBand has forced all the 16 notes that I played to be on the 8th note divisions. So there are probably going to be some overlap notes and clearly the pattern has changed. By the way, you don't have to re-record a performance to use different quantization settings. The same performance can be changed back to a 16 note quantization and now you will hear the 16 notes again. The quantization value can also be set in triplets to get a 12-8 kind of feel. Let's try an 8th triplet. So again, we've lost all the 16 notes, but we now have the 6, 8, or the 3 notes to a beat feel. Let's try the 16th triplet. It's a bit inconsistent because the original performance was a straight feel with timing issues, so GarageBand was getting a bit confused and placing some of the hits not where you would expect it, but it does create interesting variations, and it's all in time. The last subcategory in the quantization settings is swing. Here you can introduce a swung or shuffle feel into your performance, which basically pushes every other beat a bit later in time. There are only 8th and 16th note options. Let's choose 16th light. So you can hear that shuffle feel. That was light, let's try the heavy. You can hear the swing is a lot more obvious. So that was quantization. In the next video, we'll look at another feature which can help while sequencing drums in GarageBand.